Hi, and welcome to 2 Minute WebSec. Today we're going to be talking about persistent JavaScript injection. So far the previous tutorials have been about non-persistent JavaScript injection in that you need to visit a, uh, an exploited URL or click on a link that's been exploited somehow. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this just a simple web form that I have set up here. And say we type in our name, Bob, leave a comment, hi, hit submit. You can see that on the comments page, it's reflected back to us. And now anytime anyone visits this comment page, they'll see the comments from Bob. This is normal behavior. So let's take a quick look at the code that goes behind this page. It's just a simple HTML form. If you want to view more of this, you can pause the video here a second. But um, So now say instead of this, we put in some, some JavaScript. This is a script, this is an alert, it's a quick JavaScript injection test. Uh, in the comments, we can say hi again. Now when we submit it, watch what happens. Boom, hello. Now this is the behavior of a normal JavaScript injection. However, you'll notice that anytime someone loads this page now, the JavaScript is exploited. So let's take a quick look at the code behind this page that's causing this behavior. So this is the PHP page. Um, this part here, here is actually used to insert the values into the database. And you can see that the, um, when they're reflected back to the user, there's no sort of filtering or anything like that that's being done. So pretty much exactly what the original user types into the box is being reflected back to any future users of that page. So when I entered in the JavaScript injection into the form box here, it's actually being inserted into the database, and then back here it's being ex echoed out as actual part of the page code. So that's a problem, and that needs to be fixed, and you can do that simply by adding MySQL real escape strings around our row name and row comment before they're removed. So thanks for watching, and as always, leave any comments if you have questions.